Amnesia here, giving you lot a um, strategy guide on how to play Checkout in Competitive or GB. This is basically here to help anybody that wants to know or is getting into the competitive scene and wants to do well. So, we're going to start off with the 1v1. You're going to run over here, you're going to be looking down this whole alley here, and you're also going to be looking down there. Because basically, you want to be making sure that they don't get these nades. You don't need to be aggressive. Aggressive players in 1v1s, you're taking a gamble. If you can just keep them off the nades and make sure that you don't die and your team gets flanked, you've done your job. The important angles are there, there, and also, if you like, you can come over here and use this angle here. I think this angle puts you out in the open quite a lot, but it can work. So that's basically it, guys, for the 1v1. Next, people, we have the incense. The incense, the objective is not only to get the incense and kill the player on the opposite side of you, but also, you're playing for the area around you. This jump off gives you superiority on this map and makes it very likely that you will win if you control this area. So you will come out of spawn and you'll go straight here. You don't want to go near here, you'll get lancered, you want to stay tight here. You want to be fighting your player. As soon as you get the advantage, you've killed him or you've uh, he's backed off. You want to jump on here and you want to use the incense and you want to get them in the back checkout to help your team get the power weapon. Straight away, you also want to be focusing on the guy that your 1v1 player is taking and try and help him win. If you can do this, you're more likely to win the map because you'll have control of two sides of the map. You'll win this side and you'll win that side. And eventually, if they do retreat, you want them to go into spawn. So that is the in -sin. Smoke out! Get back in there! And now I'm going to be showing you the second checkout and what his position and what his job is to do. Second checkout is you come straight into here. You want to put a little bit of Lancer on the guy in Sims so your teammate has an advantage over the opposite person. It can really win it or lose it. Second of all, you want to have you want to have complete control over that guy there, making sure that they don't push around and you, got, you don't get dominated. The last thing you want is for the opposite people to push around onto you, take you out, and get the power weapon. That's the last thing we want. So you basically want to be using this cover. As soon as the guy on back checkout is ready to push forward for the power weapon, you want to smoke it, and you want to just go in there, and get your advantage off. Make sure this person doesn't move forward and also make sure that you can push this person off back checkout away and then your your teammate can walk in there, get the digger and then obviously that's a different position. But you get the idea, yeah? Pretty simple. next position is back checkout. Back checkout, obviously, it's a bit self-explanatory. You come to the back checkout. Your job is not to focus on the insins or help him out. Your job is to keep the guys on back checkout off your guy or middle checkout and also make sure that they don't push round. When you're ready, you simply go round, push for the power weapon with your guy on second checkout and blast them, make sure that they're getting pushed back and make sure that you're winning and dominating the map. <laughs> that is basically how you play back checkout. 
All right, guys, I hope that helped. I gave it my best shot. If you need any more help, uh, don't hesitate to message.